back to Ginger Acres. So I know last time we uploaded, we talked about cutting hay at the end of this week. Unfortunately, midweek the forecast changed. It ended up raining overnight Thursday into Friday and then a little bit Friday morning. So I uh, wasn't able to cut. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, as you, most of you know, if you've been watching since we started uploading, um, we've been doing a lot of work to try to clean up the property um, ever since I bought it back in 2012, just kind of trying to rejuvenate things, get it back into uh, condition of a, a good small working farm um, but most of the stuff we've done up until this point is cleaning up fallen trees clearing edges of fields things like that in the last month or two I've started um, hauling scrap metal away um, picking up trash that sort of thing and if you can see behind me this gully here that field up there that's the one that we were cutting the fallen tree in last week but this is a pretty good sized gully in here and I think what they used to do is just pull the trailers right up there uh, on the edge of this field and just dump stuff down this bank. I've cleaned up a lot of trash. I've taken about a truckload um, of scrap to the scrap yard just from in here. And I recently, well, it was actually this spring, there's a whole bunch of tires laying up in the air, up in there. And I threw them all down. It's way too steep to get up there with anything, a tractor or the four wheeler. So I threw all the tires down to the bottom of the hill. What I started doing one day last week um, was just weed eating this here. I've kind of started to develop a little bit of a trail system here on the property for a couple different reasons. One, just to be able to ride the, uh, the four-wheeler on, um, but more importantly, to be able to access different parts of the property, um, get firewood, clean up down trees um, without having to kind of beat my way through um, the woods in a different direction every single time. So it'll just make things a little bit easier here. Um, but what we're gonna do that uh, initial footage I had uh, had me coming up through this path. I've got a little bit of, uh, you know, a few things to move yet, some rocks and stuff like that, but I'm not taking down any trees. I'm just kind of forging a path where there's already open space. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to continue this path up through here. It'll take me up to the corner of this field up here. And as I make my way up through here, I'm going to clean up those tires as well. So I'm just going to do a little weed eating. There's way too many rocks in here to bring the, uh, the brush hog up. So we're just gonna clean up a little bit today and uh, kind of finish this uh, this part of this trail up. saw me take uh, just a little bit of a break there and grab some uh, blackberries behind me. I didn't notice these before. This area is so thick in here, um, but there's several different bushes um, of both wild blackberries and raspberries. So, um, and this is the time here in Pennsylvania that those are ready to be picked um, before the birds and other critters start getting them. As you can see, 
I've made uh, decent progress up through here. I just had to go down and pick up the little chainsaw um, for some of this more brushy stuff that the uh, weed eater won't get. I've also started pulling some of the tires um, from the sides and throwing them onto a pile here. I think I have 16 of them up here. I said 20 earlier, that's how many I found. That's how many I have to take um, to the tire recycle center, but I'm trying to be really careful with these tires. So they've been down here, like I said, all summer. They heat up um, pretty good, so I don't know what's living in them. And I just came up here to move this one tire. I don't know if you can see in there, but the uh, there's a shed from a snake. So I don't know when that was shed, or when it was uh, when it was up in here, but I'm just trying to be careful. I'm not really reaching my hands inside of the tires um, until I pull them out and, and kind of inspect them and uh, and see what's in there. But I've probably got I don't know 30 30 more feet to go or so, um, and there's it's mostly uh, mostly just weed eating. There is some uh, woody stuff. Man, it's getting really hot out, so I'm gonna try to finish up here before lunchtime and uh, then probably do something a little bit cooler for the afternoon. As you can see, it just kind of goes up through here. I don't know if you can see, there's a little brush pile right there um, that I'm either gonna have to burn or just push off to the side for now so that we can continue the trail up through there. A handful of bigger rocks, those couple to move uh, there's one back here that the uh, weed eater is rusting on right now. I think I'll just bring the uh, bring the tractor up here with the bucket on and just scoop these up and get them out of the way. I'm cutting the path, um, I don't know, probably about eight feet wide in most spots. That way I can get the four-wheeler up through here. I can also get the tractors up through here um, if need be, if I'm pulling logs out or anything like that. So um, do a little bit more weed eating, grab the last few uh, tires, load them up in the trailer, I'm just gonna take them down, uh, throw them somewhere down there where they're more accessible with the truck because then I'm going to load them up one day, take them to the recycle center. I gotta pay $2 a tire, I believe is what they charge um, to get rid of the tires, but I'd rather do that than bury them somewhere and they won't let you throw them in the trash. So take care of them uh, the responsible way and uh, get everything cleaned up down here. One other thing worth mentioning, you might think that this area is fairly clear and it is because it gets sprayed every few years there's a I don't know if you can see it there's a high tension power line uh, right of way that runs through this part of the property so this gully here stays pretty cleared out they come through and spray it and cut down anything anything big every few years so uh, like I said I'm gonna do a little bit more weed eating grab as many of these tires as I can see and then the last few that are kind of up in the brush I might just have to wait till winter time when when all this foliage and, and everything dies again, but uh, we'll get them all cleaned up, take care of it.
some rocks for now. That way uh, I can still drive up through here. That way I can still come up through here on the four-wheeler without tipping too bad. Like I said before, the, uh, the GoPro just doesn't really do the topography here justice. It's uh, it's pretty steep in a lot of spots. Tipping too bad. Like I said before, the, uh, the GoPro just doesn't really do the topography here justice. It's uh, it's pretty steep in a lot of spots. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Look at that tire. Somebody cut it up, painted it blue, and used it as a planter. That must have been so beautiful.